Shemuel Shani to Samuel 7. And it came to pass when the king sat in his house, and Yahuwah had given him rest round about from all his enemies, that the king said unto Nathan the prophet, See now, I dwell in the house of cedar, but the ark of Elohim dwells within curtains. And Nathan said to the king, Go, do all that is in your heart, for Yahuwah is with you. And it came to pass that night that the word of Yahuwah came unto Nathan, saying, Go and tell my servant El David, Thus says Yahuwah, Shall you build me a house for me to dwell in? Whereas I have not dwelt in any house since the time that I brought up Eth, the children of Yashadael out of Mitzrayim, even to this day, but have walked in a tent and in a tabernacle. In all the places wherein I have walked with all the children of Yashadael, spoke I a word with Eth, any of the tribes of Yashadael, whom I commanded to feed at my people at Yashadael, saying, why build, ye ne why build ye not me a house of cedar? Now therefore, so shall you say unto my servant David, Thus says Yahuwah, Savaoth, I took you from the sheep coat, from following the sheep, to be ruler over my people, over Yashadael. And I was with you whithersoever you went, and have cut off at all your enemies out of your sight, and have made you a great name, like unto the name of the great men that are in the earth. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people, Yashadael, and will plant them, that they may dwell in a place of their own. And move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more, as before time, and as since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people, Yashadael, and have caused you to rest from all your enemies. Also, Yahuwah tells you that he will make you a house. And when your days be fulfilled, and you shall sleep eth with your fathers, I will set up eth your seed after you, which shall proceed out of your generation, and I will establish eth his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish eth the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of the children of men. But my mercy shall not depart away from him, as I took it from Shaul, whom I put away before you. And your house and your kingdom shall be established forever before you. Your throne shall be established forever. According to all these words, and according to all this, this vision, so did Nathan speak unto El David. Then went King David in and sat before Yahuwah, and he said, Who am I, O Adonai Yahuwah, and what is my house that you have brought me hitherto? And this was yet a small thing in your sight, O Adonai Yahuwah, but you have spoken also of your servant's house for a great while to come. And is this the manner of man? O Adonai Yahuwah, and what can David say more unto you? For you, Adonai Yahuwah, know eth your servant. For your word's sake, and according to your own heart, have you done eth all these great things, to make eth your servant know them. Wherefore you are great, O Adonai Yahuwah, for there is none like you, neither is there any Elohim beside you, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like your people, even like Yashadael, 
whom Elohim went to redeem for a people to himself and to make him a name and to do for you great things and terrible for your land before your people which you redeemed to you from Mitzrayim, from the nations and their Elohim. For you have confirmed to yourself, eth your people, Yasharael, to be a people unto you forever. And you, Yahuwah, are become their Elohim. And now, O Yahuwah Elohim, the word that you have spoken concerning your servant and concerning his house, establish it forever and do as you have said. And let your name be magnified forever, saying, Yahuwah Savaoth is the Elohim over Yashara'el. And let the house of your servant David be established before you. For you, O Yahuwah Savaoth, Elohai of Yashara'el, have eth revealed to your servant, saying, I will build you a house. Therefore has your servant found eth in his heart to pray eth this prayer unto you. And now, O Adonai Yahuwah, you are that Elohim, and your words be true, and you have promised eth this goodness unto your servant. Therefore now let it please you to bless eth the house of your servant that it may continue forever before you. For you, O Adonai Yahuwah, have spoken it. And with your blessing, let the house of your servant be blessed forever.